Hello guys, back again at Allo Recaps. Today we will recap a story from a 2019 movie, No Such Thing as Monsters. The movie begins with the story of a pair of lovers, David and Maria. David tries to convince Maria to spend the weekend in the middle of the forest by camping using a caravan. However, Maria, who has a history of claustrophobia, which is a fear of narrow and closed spaces, refused David's invitation. Despite this, David continues to persuade Maria because he wants to take her to the place where he used to camp with his father, which has a beautiful landscape of trees, lakes and rivers. David hoped that Maria could overcome her fear over the years by going with him. After convincing Maria with all his efforts, finally Maria agreed to go with him. The two lovers embarked on a journey to a location in the middle of the forest. They seemed to be really enjoying every second of their journey. After a long journey, they finally arrived at that location. However, when Maria entered the caravan, she began to feel severe anxiety and fear due to her claustrophobia. Luckily, David had anticipated this by bringing along a blindfold to help Maria feel calmer. Even though Maria has physical limitations on her hands, they both still love each other. In fact, David plans to propose to Maria there, but is still waiting for the right moment to do so. Long story short, night fell and they enjoyed it joyfully around the campfire. In the morning, Maria woke up and felt her phobia of claustrophobia return. After she managed to calm down, she saw a car coming closer. Maria was startled and immediately got into the caravan, then peeked from inside when that car stopped near her. The car turned out to be filled with a man and three women named Elmer, Nellie, Amy, and Becca. Maria woke David up and told him about their arrival. However, when David went out to check, they were already in front of the caravan's door. Nellie asked permission to pitch a tent near David and Maria's caravan, and invited them to join with them. David happily allowed them to pitch their tent nearby without any suspicions. Their arrival seemed to make Maria feel uncomfortable and she was always peeping at their activities from inside the caravan. Even when David invites her out to enjoy the scenery and take her picture, Maria refuses and chooses to sleep inside the caravan. Eventually David goes off alone while photographing the beauty that lies within the forest. Meanwhile, Maria was busy watching when Nellie suddenly came asking for a bottle cap opener. Although somewhat distracted, Maria lends her the bottle cap opener. But Nellie asks Maria to say hello to Amy, Nellie's youngest sister, who is quiet and has burn injuries all over her body, so she is not confident when meeting new people. Amy is only friendly with her doll, called Sweetheart, and often chats with it. Nellie mentions that Amy has amazing massage skills, and makes Maria interested in trying a massage from Amy. Soon after, Elmer arrives and introduces himself as Becca's boyfriend. Meanwhile, David was focusing on photographing the beauty of the forest when suddenly Becca came and asked him to take a picture of her. David initially refused because Becca invited him to a place that David did not know, but finally he agreed after Becca seduced him. Becca took David to a riverbank that had a good spot for taking pictures. After taking several photos, Becca asked David to take a photo of herself without clothes. At first David refused, but Becca continued to persuade and seduce David until finally David was willing to photograph Becca without clothes. Whilst Maria enjoys a massage from Amy without suspicion, David returns with Becca. However, when Maria wants to see his shots, David dodges and says his camera battery has run out. Night falls and they gather around the campfire telling stories and having drinks. When Maria asked about the tattoos on their arms, Nellie explained that the tattoos were a family tradition as their mother was a tattoo artist. They then started telling stories about the horror experiences they had while enjoying the available drinks. The next morning, Maria awoke and was shocked that David wasn't beside her. Maria panicked and started looking for David, but all she found was Amy. Maria asked Amy about David's whereabouts, but Amy told her that David had left. Scared and increasingly panicked, Maria tried to return to Carnivan. However, when she arrived there, she was shocked to find that the door had been locked from the outside and she couldn't get out. As if that wasn't enough, Maria was then taken somewhere without her knowledge. Maria's phobia got worse, and eventually she fainted. When Maria came to, she was already bound with chains and was surprised by the presence of Nellie, Becca, Elmer, and Amy holding guns in front of her. Nellie warned Maria not to try to escape as it would be fatal for her and David. After they left, Maria tried to remove the chains binding her body, but unfortunately her efforts were unsuccessful. Through the vents on the roof of the caravan, Maria tried to look around her and realized that she was in front of their house. Then, shortly after that, Amy came in with food for Maria. 
Maria then asked about David's condition, and Amy just nodded her head as a response. Maria tried to influence Amy to let go of her by saying that Amy was actually a good person. But unfortunately, Amy just shut up and just left. When Maria had another phobia attack, Becca came and gave Maria the key to the chain locks. Apparently, they just wanted to give her a chance to go to the bathroom. But before entering the bathroom, Maria heard David's voice who seemed to be having fun. Apparently, after Maria came out of the bathroom, she saw Nellie coming out of that room. Unfortunately, Maria couldn't do anything as Becca immediately took her back to the caravan. At night, Maria saw a hairpin and tried to use it to release the chains that bound her. Eventually Maria managed to break free and tried to escape through a vent on the roof of the caravan. After that, she entered their house secretly to find out what happened to David. As it turned out, David was inside the room bound to the top of the bed. Maria tried to untie David, but unfortunately, she heard the sound of footsteps coming. After hearing the sound of footsteps, Maria immediately hid under the bed. It turned out the person who came was Becca. When Maria was about to attack Becca, Nellie suddenly appeared behind Maria. Maria was successfully secured and they held Maria by putting her in a crate. After a night in the crate, in the morning Maria was moved back into the caravan. There, Nellie asked Maria to behave if she didn't want David to get hurt. In addition, Nellie also took all of Maria and David's belongings. They even took Maria's fake hand, so Maria couldn't do much to escape anymore. On that night, Elmer came upon Maria in the caravan and attempted to rape her. However, the attempt is foiled by Amy's arrival. Later, Amy received a message from David that Maria often had insomnia, so she gave Maria some medicine to help her sleep. Maria took that medicine and they had time to play chess before going to bed. There, Maria again tried to influence Amy to help her by saying that Amy was a good person and different from her sister. Maria even promised to take Amy away if Amy was willing to help her. However, it seems that Maria's efforts did not succeed in influencing Amy. Time passed so quickly that six weeks had already passed. One day, Nellie came to Maria and told her that they, along with Becca, were pregnant. They were all pregnant because David who had implanted the seed in them. Hearing the news, Maria became hysterical and accidentally found a ring box. Maria realized that David's purpose in taking her camping was to propose to her. Finally, Maria kept the ring in a safe place. A few months later, Nellie, Becca, and Maria's bellies were getting bigger together. One day, while Becca was practicing yoga, she suddenly felt pain and screamed. It appeared that Becca was about to give birth. Elmer then came looking for Maria and asked for help to help Becca give birth. Unfortunately, they all had no experience in labor and delivery, so when Becca experienced complications and needed help, they could only scream in panic and eventually led to Becca's death. However, unexpectedly, Nellie bravely performed a caesarine section on the baby's own to save the living baby. The next day, Maria sees Nellie and Amy leaving in a car. In the evening, Elmer, who is angry because of Becca's death, comes up to Maria and tries to rape her despite Maria being pregnant and unable to do much about it. The next morning, Amy sees Maria looking limp and realizes that Elmer has raped her. Amy is angry and tries to kill Elmer, but her mother, Dina, prevents her. As it turns out, Dina has just been picked up by Nellie and Amy, and is unaware of what happened earlier. Dina then killed Elmer with the gun she was carrying. Afterwards, she asks Nellie to prepare warm water and asks Amy to clean and take care of Maria. At that moment, Maria again tried to influence Amy to help her escape. Eventually, Maria managed to get Amy agitated and released her. Then, after successfully escaping, Maria attacks Amy to make her unconscious. With carrying a gun taken from Amy, Maria entered the house and saw a helpless man. Apparently, the man is Dina's husband. However, Maria ignored the man's existence and went straight to the room where David was. After arriving at the location, Maria saw Dina torturing David. Maria immediately ordered Dina to let David go and lie on the ground, but Dina took that opportunity to run away. Then, Nellie appeared and attacked Maria, but fortunately David managed to shoot Nellie so that she fell. After that, Maria took David to the car to escape, but she saw that Dina had left in another car. Although Dina managed to escape, Maria remained focused on her mission and retrieved the ring that was kept inside the caravan. As she was retrieving the ring, Nellie suddenly attacked her on that spot. After confirming that Nellie had died, Maria got into the car and asked David to propose to her on that spot. However, on the way home, Maria suddenly had contractions. 
David asked Maria to pull over the car and go into labor there. Meanwhile, Amy, who had recovered from her stupor, came out and approached David and Maria. However, David who felt disturbed immediately chased Amy away. The incident made Amy feel sad and she immediately ran home crying. After she arrived home, Amy provided dedicated care for the newborn baby. Meanwhile, Maria managed to give birth to her baby normally and healthily. And the movie ends. So what do you think about this movie? If you like it please click like and leave a comment for this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video from Allo Recaps. See you next video.